Vice Ambassador of Ireland to India, His Excellency Kevin Kelly, esteemed guest of honor, Prabha Narasimhan, Managing Director of Colgate Palm Oil of India, outgoing dynamic chairperson Raji Raju, the backbone of our chapter, respected past presidents and past chairs, and my dear members. I'm filled with so much gratitude as I take on the responsibility to lead the exceptional women of Low Chennai. Initially, I had a speech prepared for me to come and share with all of you today. But I'm always reminded of a story when I say that. The Japanese Prime Minister was meeting President Obama for the first time. So as he got on the flight, he did not know English. So he took a translator along with him. So in the flight, the translator tells him, everything I will manage, just two or three pleasantries you just speak to President Obama. So he says, when you get down and you meet President Obama, you just say, hello, how are you? He will say, I am well, how about you? You say, me too, thank you. So throughout the flight, he's practicing, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Me too, thank you, me too, thank you. And finally, they reach United States, they're getting down the stairs. He's very thrilled to meet President Obama. So in that enthusiasm, Instead of saying, hello, how are you? He said, hello, who are you? <laughs> now, President Obama thought he was joking. And he's also a very witty and adaptive person. So immediately he said, I'm Michelle Obama's husband. How about you? He said, me too, thank you. <laughs> so being a CPSC student and having written all those exams, smoking comes quite naturally to me. But I think today the occasion demands that I speak from my heart. And I wanted to share that it is a real honor and privilege for me to be here and take over the reins of such a wonderful organization which has witnessed visionary leadership, dynamic members who are so dedicated and they have shaped the path of the organization that it is today. You have brought it to a level where we have thought leaders, the greatest of speakers and personalities coming to us and such ground level impact that you have created and having given this opportunity to me, I am very, very thankful. I have had such wonderful role models and leaders who have been here before me and I pray that I am able to do justice to their trust in me and all your trust and faith in me. A special thanks to the past chairs, to the past presidents of Flo Chennai for your invaluable guidance. I truly value it. I would also like to congratulate Raji Raju for an exceptional year and I do have big shoes to fill in in the coming year. So Flo is not just an organization that I am part of. This is a place where I have learned so much, I have had tremendous growth and I have learned about leadership, the grace of giving back and most importantly how to empower women truly. I have gotten inspired to do more, become a better person and I have made amazing friends along the way. Benjamin Franklin said, when you are good to others, you are best to yourself. So keeping these ideals in mind. My theme for the year is Triple E, which is Empower, Engage and Elevate. I am committed to ensure that the organization remains focused on our core missions, empowering women. journey we have shared this past year. From late night brainstorming sessions to navigating challenges with determination, my team this year has exemplified dignity and excellence at every turn. Our chapter effectively followed the national mandate of 404020 this year. And what is this 404020? It's allocating 40% to projects encompassing in initiatives and outreach programs, 40% to programs featuring member engagement events with tangible benefits, and 20% to networking. And we were one of the very few chapters that adhere to this blueprint as reflected in our quarterly report. Throughout the year, our immediate past chairperson, Prasanna Vasanadu, was a guiding beacon, illuminating our path. I must acknowledge the exceptional support we received from Divya Abhishek, our incoming chairperson, who went above and beyond her duties to assist us in various capacities. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the dedicated members of my secretarial team, Radhika Agarwal, my flow secretary, who quietly but tirelessly worked through the year. Niyati Mehta, our advisor and joint secretaries, Kipala Chandrasekhar and Aparna Dityanath. Their tireless and indefatigable endeavors, donning various hats and stretching beyond their designated roles have been indispensable to our achievements.